Lewis Hamilton's hobby away from the racetrack on Grand Prix weekends has been unveiled. Lewis Hamilton has a portable music studio which he flies to races around the world, according to McFly star Danny Jones. The singer and lead guitarist confirmed Hamilton has a setup which he uses over Grand Prix weekends. Jones has even spotted the Mercedes star's decks with his own two eyes. Jones told music-news.com, I think music and sport marry really well. Everyone I meet in the world of music wants to be a racing car driver and every racing car driver wants to be a musician. I know Lewis Hamilton does. He has a little bit of a studio set up when he goes on tour. I've seen. Earlier this year, Hamilton shared an image of his setup on social media. It appears to include a virtual deck plugged into his laptop alongside a microphone and pop shield. After a difficult 2022, Hamilton revealed he lost the drive to make music, however, he spent some time between the Saudi Arabian and Australian Grand Prix to lay down some tunes. He posted on Instagram, I recorded for the first time in almost a year yesterday, it's super rough and just an idea. I took a break to focus on other things but I also lost the drive to keep making music which has made me so sad. It's such a process and hard to do when you're on the road 300 days a year. But it remains something I truly love and I am going to make more of an effort to do more. Hamilton is a keen music fan and has attempted to break into the industry with a range of collaborations. The Silver Arrow star worked with Major Lazer last year as was snapped in a recording studio last November. Hamilton made his debut under the pseudonym XDNA on Christina Aguilera's 2018 record, Pipe. However, the 38-year-old did not admit he was the hidden rapper until two years later due to confidence issues. He explained, the goal was to have the music come out under a different name so that you could hear the music first and later know it was me, but it didn't work out the way it planned. I shied away from acknowledging it was me, I don't know why, maybe insecurities, fear, overthinking, something I think many people can relate to.